Hey guys, Smart Ninja 000 here. Today I have this really amazing method. I've never seen someone do this. I did a video a while back on this, but it's old and very outdated. So I thought, you know what, let's redo it just so I can get some views on it. Um, it's a really, it's like really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen someone else actually do this before. Um, so we actually have to thank my friend Horhan um, because he actually still has a realm. I don't. I own a server now, which is pretty cool, but uh, shout out to him. Really nice guy. Uh, he's really helping me out here. Now, this is a great command because you can kick as many players as you want instantly. So, And you can even kick anyone. So He's writing something. Let's see what he says. Dun, 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 dun. So, I'm going to kick him now. And this is just a great command. We're going to... We're not even going to let him finish that sign. He just kicked. Um, and the way this actually works is super interesting. So, as you guys know, there's a limit in Java. Um, I don't know the exact number, but it's like 60,000. It's over 60,000. Someone will probably have written in the comments. If it's not there, if you know it, please write it in the comments. He's going to do this. Um, okay. Well, anyways, and the way this actually works is... Okay, watch the med. He just left. Oh, welcome back. I didn't actually kick him. Um, the way this actually works is it's just get feeding too much into your chat. So it just kicks you here. You guys can see the error message. Um, this is what it looks like when you're kicked. It's just like, there's too much. So it's a really nice method. And now why might you want this, you ask? Well, there's tons of reasons why. Um, if you want an anti-grief, uh, you can make it so if you place down TNT, you're kicked. And TNT's broken, then you're kicked. And that's nice. Um, if someone's hacking, you can kick them. Um, you can even ban them. Um, you can temporarily ban it by putting it on a clock, feeding them every time they join, or even just make it so they have to re-log a certain number of times. There's tons of ways to do this, and it's just super useful. Now, I'm actually using it in my mapping slow-mo. You guys won't see a video about this for a little while. Um, to make this interesting, yeah, he is the owner, so I can kick the owner, um, and he can kick me if he runs the command. Um, so, here, I'm going to paste the command down for him just so you can even see so T can like you can even set it up on a command block so if you press this button I'll be kicked boom and that's just really useful now what's even cooler about this um, is it doesn't affect you if you are in single player. Okay, here we are, and you can see we have more than enough entities. I can do this, I can add a whole bunch more of these. And, oh, uh, well, now it went overboard. Okay. Let me just remove this last one. And it's just going to spam my chat, and I can. If I just grab this command, you guys can see. I can make it like way too much. Oh, I put I messed up. Let me find it there. There's a crazy amount of line of code right now. Just all selector. I'm just quickly swapping back and forth. When I power this, I'm not going to get kicked. I'm just going to get chat spammed. So, yeah, you can see it's just spamming my chat. I'm not actually kicked. And the reason why that is um the reason why that is important is um because if someone tries to grief it by spamming command blocks that do this, um it will actually uh, it won't actually like um uh you can always open it up in single player world, destroy the command block. Or you can always turn off command blocks and by the way, take away that person's op. Now there is one bypass to this. And there that's the problem with it. 
He's very good at commands. They're not one commands he found. Um, there is one bypass to it, and you'll see if I press it. Um, if you turn off your chat, it won't kick you. If you do, now that is the only bypass um, that I can find if you turn off your chat. Um, that's Otherwise, it's 100% guaranteed uh, it will kick them. Of course, you do have to be careful about this. Um, and again, there's probably, I, I haven't found a better method to kick players on realms. This is the best method I have found. Um, I did find this. I, um, I don't think anyone else has ever done this. Um, but again, that chat thing is a bit of an issue. Um, so be careful about that. Um, now, that's just really nice. And um, we're going to go into a few different specifics that you can do to, um, like, I guess, I don't really know, but just a few specific things you can do to um, with this. So first you make a quit objective, um, and then you can actually do it. So you can force them to quit a certain number of times um, before they actually join. They can join. Um, there's just... And that's pretty self-explanatory to set their ban limit. Um, you can set it up on a timer so they can't join for a certain number of ticks. It's just, or of course, if you put it on a clock. Of course, Realms does deactivate sometimes, which is kind of weird. It's not always, it's not always up like a server, so I'm not exactly, and I don't know how it exactly operates. Remember, I had it a little bit over a year ago, so I think it was a year at least. Um, so I don't know how much has changed about it. It's really, I mean, it's really cool. There's lots you can do with this. Um, so, um, yeah, it's just, it's just cool. Um, it's a really nice feature, and um, I, I haven't seen any other method someone can do to use. It's essentially a slash kick. Now, depending on the amount of entities you have. Um, really affects this. Um, my suggestion is having the selector at E at least 20 times or so, and it's pretty much a guarantee um, if it's in a normal world. If it's in a normal world, it will basically kick them. And if we go, here's a very nice, perfect example of a normal, oh, lag spike, of a normal world. Well, of course, there's plugins, which you guys can kind of tell since this is my server. Um, if we do a um, of course, you can also use slash a, slash say Eddie, and yeah, it will kick you again for the same error. Um, and you also get an error in the console, but you guys don't need to see my console, so, you know. Um, and, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, it's, yeah, it's just a really nice method of s stuff you can do. Uh, that's, that's still making noise. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that's, oh, I hit my microphone, that's bad. Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, it's a great, amazing concept of just something you can do with command blocks. And, um, now remember, there are still definitely ways, there might be a better way to find, get around this. There's probably some different error message you can give people. Um, don't know what that sound was, but I have not yet found that. Um, again, this is the best method. I I used it a lot personally um, when I still used realms, and I just use slash kick. Um, but until we get slash kick, you can't actually do slash kick. Um, even if you're an op, I'm an op. Uh, slash kick is not an actual command. People get permission to for own realms for whatever reason. Same with slash whitelist. Um, it's it's a server. It's just you don't get permission to those. Um, so. Anyways, that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.